How's it going? We're gonna do another manga review. Surprise, surprise. Um, and guess what? Surprise, surprise again. We are gonna cover the same goddamn manga, Seo Koji, once again, because we're going in kind of like a very messed up chronological order, because it's not essentially chronological order. We did Kimino Iromachi first, then we did Suzuka second, in which we're supposed to do Suzuka first, Kimino Iromachi second, but we're gonna fix that and go into Fuka third. Now, I wanna call out that this is all in the same universe, so that's quite important and maybe might be called out later in this review, but we're gonna kinda dive right into to it we're gonna go story first art second character third and then finally the overall enjoyment which is a, effectively my overall 10 out of 10 score that i'm gonna give all right so let's begin so i'm giving the story an 8 out of 10. now before i jump into spoilers which will be the latter half of this uh manga review as always is as usual the story is at least in terms of the plot development there is a climax and then there's you know somewhat of a conclusion it actually is one of the strong points of the story and the reason behind that is because usually seo koji really focuses on his romance and his dramas and you know the love triangle Goals, the breakups and all that sort of stuff obviously that is kind of still in there a little bit and integrated you see elements of his traditional classic Seo Koji romance drawings and writing into that story however he focuses more on the actual story part of it this time the the journey of the fallen moon that band that Haruno uh, leads as the bass guitarist and they actually do you know uh, sh he actually does showcase the entire band's you know reformation uh, the name changes the new members and then the development into one of Japan's biggest popular bands uh, taking over the original op ones and that is actually i think that's one of the key things that we that's underrated about the stories because there is a polarizing event that happens near the earlier parts of this chapter that kind of divides this fan base a little a lot that i'll di dive into later on the story if you ignore that part the plot in the story is actually fairly good uh, and it's very enjoyable read from that aspect so I'm not going to go too much deeper into there. I think it's an 8 out of 10. If you ignore that, like, there is a part in the, the conclusion where I feel like, you know, he could have expanded on the conclusion a little bit more. It was a little bit rushed. If they, if he was able to kind of finalize the romantic development uh, in the ending part to really flesh that part out, I would give the story even a 9 out of 10, to be honest. So 8 out of 10 for me. Now the art, as usual, I won't dive too deep into the details for Seo Koji's art manga because let's face it, I'm a big simp for his art. It's one of the main reasons why I even read his manga in the first place. You know, obviously are other reasons, so benefit the doubt for him. But it's a 10 out of 10 for me because I'm just a big simp for his art. We're moving on right here. For the characters, this is an 8 out of 10. Um, there's actually very good and substantial and conspicuous character development for the main characters at least, and the band characters throughout this manga. Uh, you see Haruna, you see Fuka, you see the band, uh, the Fallen Moon members. They all go through really, really good character development. They go, some some of them get their own individual arcs, some really don't really, because you get small patches and you see their you know development uh, in your face, but you don't necessarily see the main arc development phases that you would see for Haruna and Fuka. And this is what I actually like, because there are so many characters in this manga, you kind of get to see their development, but you, maybe you don't get to get, go into a big dive and deep dive into you know how they develop into as characters, but they're not as popular as the main characters, Haruna Fuka. And so if you look into just Haruna Fuka, spoiler alert here, there are two Fukas. The, so I guess I should refer to Fukas plural here. So Haruna and the Fukas, you see their character development really well. And this is what I kind of pushed me to give this an 8 out of 10 because ultimately if the character you feel that doesn't doesn't grow more motivations later on you don't see their motivations for their actions you don't see them more grow more confidence uh be more brave be more you know intentional in their actions and all that sort of stuff and then you get to kind of that's when you actually want to support such a such a male character or female character or main character as in this manga and that's why seo koji does a really good job developing that uh, so that's an 8 out of 10 for me. Overall, uh, you know, kind of going from the art, uh, the, the, the characters, as well as the story, before I jump into the spoilers, I want to call out that I give this story a full 8 out of 10 of just enjoyment. This story by itself, and obviously I'm going to dive into what happens in a particular chapter, chapter 37 actually, in which it kind of divides the fan base a little bit. <laughs> Not just a little bit, spoiler alert, it's a lie. Yeah, ignoring that part, just everything else, I would give this story an a solid 8 out of 10, this whole manga. So now we were actually going to dive into the spoilers part, and the spoilers part is this is where I'm going to kind of go on a little bit of a rant. I will try to keep this short. Spoiler alert, I apologize, this was not short at all. Chapter 37 is the kryptonite of this manga. Chapter 37 is what causes the largest division in the fanbase uh, within this manga since I've seen something like 
domestic girlfriend, or World War II. Chapter 37 causes the largest polarizing division among the community slash fanbase of this manga, the largest division of humankind since I've seen in the Cold War. Now, it, this is insane because uh, I think what happened was, and I'll get into it later on, is Seo Koji decides to kill off the main character, um, kill off one of the main characters, Fuka. And that is such an important topic and plot point because Fuka is the daughter of Yamato and Suzuka from Suzuka, the manga that I covered previously and one of the first mangas in this entire universe. And that is important because everyone, first of all, A, that ruins the whole, you know, ending conclusion, the happy ending that Suzuka and Yamato got in that manga. Two, what the fuck are you doing killing Fuka? Like, dude. Everyone loved her, everyone loved the main character, and then boom, just like that, Seo Koji throws a curveball, not just a curveball, that this is like a whole, yeah, curveball, sorry, I can't find another metaphor. But yeah, anyways, so that that is what happened, so that's kind of the spoilers part of the story, and this is what I obviously wanted to cover in the latter half, and that's why I did so. This is important to cover because, first of all, A, um, this caused so many people to just stop reading after chapter 37 in which this happened. And B, this is really just pushes out and emphasizing the whole truck kun meme that comes out because every single time uh, a truck appears in this manga or in any of the other sales mangas, uh, and then just in general, you know, just in general when, when it comes to manga, uh, romance and dramas and all that sort of stuff, and when there's a truck coming up and killing the character, this is truck kun all over again. And this just emphasized and helped build this meme up in the first place. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if truck kun has just been emphasized whole in a whole different light because of how Fuko is depicted by Seo Koji. Um, so that is the case there. But what we want to also want to cover is how there's another girl introduced called Fuka, replaces the original Fuka, and then we kind of run it back. Except obviously, you know, there is a lot of good character development, as I mentioned before, in which that you see and you feel a little bit more satisfied in the way that uh, Fuka gets integrated. I'm talking about the new Fuka into this band, and then they replace the old band's name with a new one. The Fallen Moon gets replaced by, I completely forgot what the name is. But because of that, I would say that, uh, you know, uh, Seo Koji was able to kind of save that manga there for those who are still reading it at that point. Um, and then we actually got to focus more on the musical and the actual, you know, like growing up from a really small band into something that's large and they want to perform and become Japan's most popular rock band. They wanted to get to that point. They wanted to get better on the bass, the guitars, the piano, all that sort of stuff. And that's when Seo Koji actually honed in and focused on the musical aspect of this manga because ultimately we still wanted mus musical, you know, melodies and plays and stuff. And their adventure and journey as a rock uh, band in general to be part of uh, one of the main plot points of this story. And he did. We did that. And that's what actually caused a lot of people to kind of rejuvenate and see, you know, this manga still has something to prove. Um, and because we, once we got that and we got to that full conclusion near the end, it was all out, it was perfect, great stuff. Uh, people still somewhat enjoy that manga. You know, if we ignore that whole Fuka got killed for another Fuka, and then that Fuka became that main character's love interest, if we're able to stomach that down and eventually with chapters that happened, because that happened in chapter 32nd, Fuka lasted about, I think it was about 200 chapters, something like that. Um, so that was near the beginning. And then ever since then, you know, I'm sure we had enough time for the crowd, the, the audience, the readers to finally kind of stomach that down and feel more fulfilled and feel eventually just let, let the new Fuka kind of grow on them. Aoi Fuka, I believe that's her name. So. Yeah, I think overall, um, I'm sticking with that whole 8 out of 10 score. If if I really cared that much about the old Fuka dying, but then realizing that the new Fuka didn't really couldn't replace her that well, or you know, Seo Koji didn't have something to prove in terms of trying to throw a massive curveball at the re audience, then yeah, I would pro probably put this more of like a six or a seven out of ten. But because I feel like you know, it, the manga still redeemed itself by focusing more on the band's journey across Japan, touring around Japan, and growing into one of the most popular bands in Japan, and uh, kind of showing that aspect, and then turning it more into like just not just a romance and drama, but more so actually. On the musical and drama side and actually focusing on the story the main plot not just the romance that's why i'm giving this an 8 out of 10. it kind of redeemed itself there and if you do kind of ignore that fuka dying it's still a pretty good manga so there you have it and at, uh, of course obviously at the end you see the old members uh, of the original really really popular band that the new band kind of wants to take over as the reigning helm so yeah we have um, you know, even in the ending, it's great because you have Nico, uh, the original really good bass player that Haruna is able to kind of take over. And then you have, uh, I believe her name was Tama, 
she uh, ended up losing her voice but then Nico and Tama got married it, you know you got the happy ending from there so the only one thing that I disliked was you know you kind of want to grab a nice ending from a romantic development point of view for Fuka and uh, Haruna as well but this is you know a little bit different in what Seal Koji was trying to show in, in his manga compared to usual mangas that he writes uh, in the romance drama film so um, props to him for doing that and kind of throwing that curveball and really trying something different. Uh, even if it was his editor pushing it, I'm sure that he was the one who made the ultimate decision to do it. It's all in fair play for him. So yeah, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe once again to my channel if you like these manga reviews. I ultimately you know, am giving him the benefit of the doubt and giving him a lot of props and feeling more optimistic about this manga. But again, it's very polarizing to say the least, at least because I understand the point of view of the other audience who decided to drop this after chapter 37. 100% understand that. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Ciao.